looking at the G6 Dome from Unify and I think the main question for many people is is it worth the upgrade from the G5 Dome or should I just get the AI Dome instead? And this is what we'll do today. So we'll compare these three cameras so you better understand which camera is better for you and your project. All right, let's get to it. If after watching all of this, you still cannot decide whether you should get an AI Dome or a G6 Dome or a G5 Dome, well, don't hesitate to reach to us at admin at people systems. So if you feel like a comment is not enough and you really need to give actual contacts of your project, you can reach to us. We have a team of security experts that will guide you through the process and help you choose the right solution for your projects. All right, back to the video. All right, so looking at the specs of the three cameras, we can already tell that there is a big difference between the G5 dome and the G6 dome. So just looking here at IR night vision, you can see that the G5 has a nine meter range while the G6 has a 30 meter range. And the G6 also have advanced analytics such as face recognition and license plate recognition. It has a bigger field of view and it also have a IP66 rating for weatherproofing and for temper resistance, it's all the way up to IK10. If we keep going down, there's another difference and I think that's the main one. It's about the resolution and the sensor. So the resolution of your G5 dome is four megapixel, while the G6 dome provides you with a 4K resolution and also the sensor is eight megapixel here. So, so is it worth spending a hundred bucks to upgrade your camera to a G6? Well, yes. Honestly, with the differences it brings, it, it's worth investing in this because we're talking about security. And as I always say, if you want to capture all the details, having a better resolution is actually much better. Not only that, but if you're using analytics to see the right face, so face recognition, license plate recognition, you need to be able to see what's on the screen so the camera can really capture all those details. So for $100, you get that 4K resolution, you get that bigger sensor, and also all the little things that just make the camera better than the G5. So it's a nice upgrade all around. Now, the real test where it becomes less obvious is when comparing the G6 with the AI Dome, because this is $120 difference. So are you ready to invest that much money to upgrade from the G6 to the AI Dome? Because when you look at the different specs, they're pretty much the same. So uh, IR night vision, so there's a 10 meter difference in the advantage of the AI Dome. But other than that, it is the same analytics. You have the same field of view. You have the same IP and IK rating. If we go down, so this is one of the differences is about the networking interface. So for the data transmit speed, you have 10 to 100 megabytes for the G6 and you have one gigabytes for the AI DOM. So this is to avoid any kind of lag when you're streaming in 4K resolution, but it doesn't really affect the G6 DOM here. So it's yes, it's a difference, but it's not a big one. If we keep going down, so you have the same sensor, you have the same FPS, same resolution, and you also have the same processor. So all around, it's pretty similar. Another difference in the spec would be the temperature. So that might be a deal breaker for the G6 if you are in a Northern region like we are here. So often we get temperatures up to minus 30 degrees Celsius. So having the G6 only going down all the way to, to minus 20 can be a deal breaker. But the main difference is right above here is that you have an expansion slot on your AI dome. So you have edge storage, you can insert a micro SD card to have that redundancy. So saving the data on your camera as well as your NVR or controller. So this is the biggest difference in terms of spec, but it doesn't stop there. There's still a lot to see in this video and this is what we'll look at. So yes, the specs, but also how the image and the camera actually perform. Outside of the specs, there are some things to consider whether you want to choose the AI Dome or the G6 Dome. And one of them is the Unifier Partner Program. And so you might not be aware, but now on their website, there are some products with this icon right here that makes you eligible to join the partner program. And the G6 is one of them. 
So if you are an installer or an integrator and you would like to join the partner program, well, you need to buy one of those products. So the AI Dome is not part of this, but if you do buy the G6, you need to complete a form and then you can become eligible to have priority phone support. So this will give you direct access to their tier two professional site support engineer. You have their partner driven trainings, which are webinars that are content catered to topics that you vote on. And you also have the ambassador access. So you can go on their website to learn more and what you would get if you get access to their partner programs. I believe that there is a cost to it. So when you get accepted, you will need to pay uh, $999 per year to have access to this community and all the exclusive benefits that comes from it. Another difference outside of the spec, well, briefly in the spec, is actually the size difference. So the G6 is a little bit bigger, but for good reasons. While traditionally you need to connect your ethernet cable to the cable that comes out of the camera, so like the AI dome, the G6 actually changed form factor so the connection is inside the camera providing additional protection to your cable. So it's also facilitate the way you install it because the hole for the cable is outside of the back plate where you would install your camera on the wall or on the ceiling. So again, these are two details that are not in the spec that can give an edge to the G6 dome when you're comparing the two cameras. But as I mentioned before, the real test is seeing it live. So how those cameras perform in real life situation. And this is what we're looking at next. The first test we did is actually using me as an example where there's a lot of color in the front yard. So you have the grass that is green, you have my shoes that are different colors, you have flowers as well to see how those cameras perform. So using their 4K resolution to really be able to capture every details. So first and the first difference that I see is actually my skin color. So you can see a lot of warmth and contrast on the G6 camera by default so again we didn't change nothing in the image setting the ai dome out of the box actually give more of a natural feel to the different colors so the green of the grass is really green uh, you have the different flowers but it mostly me being the subject here that we see the main difference even the car you can see the contrast in the g6 that is more darker around the car why while on the AI dome, you see more details on it. Uh, for We see the quattro written on the car, while it's more difficult to see on the G6. So honestly, great resolution on both cameras. We're able to see all the details from my shoes, my hat, my face in a good resolution. There is some image settings adjustment that would need to be done on the G6 for my taste. So out of the box, the AI Dome has a better image quality, but again, this is something you can configure. So it's not really a big difference in that situation. Next, we are doing a vehicle test. So using a license plate, and this is something I always consider being a great test, is if you're able to see the license plate on the screen with your own eyes, it means that the camera will be able to see it as well. So with the vehicle, we came back and to different distances to be able to see if we'll be able to read accurately the license plate. So keep in mind that this recording was actually a screen recording to be able to see the analytics. So it's using full HD resolution, so not the 4K from the camera. But our goal was also to compare the analytics speed. So if there was a difference with the analytics that we see on Unify between both cameras. All right, so in terms of analytic speeds, similar, if not exactly the same. So you see the license plate appear with the information about the car. Uh, again, same great colors. And now this is the first distance of the car. Uh, it's, it's honestly, it's readable. You're able to see uh, the license plate pretty well. And at this distance, it becomes really clear. So there's no real winner there. Uh, both give a great, great image resolution and great details to the picture. One thing that I noticed is actually the color confidence. So on the G6 dome, you have 68%, while on the AI dome, it's 85%. So that might be a difference in the installation. They are next to each other, so maybe the sun 
may affect this. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, if this is something that happened to you before and you might have an idea what it is, leave us a comment below. I'd actually like to investigate this to understand why the i dome gives better confidence level on a car than the G6 dome, because in that case, the car is really black. So <laughs> it kind of matters. And seeing that the i dome gives a better confidence level, it's intriguing. So let us know what you think if this is something that ever happened to you. Another thing that we notice while doing this video is actually the file size. So there is a big difference in the file size when you save it from the playback. So looking at this clip, for example, from the G6 and the AI Dome, it's exactly the same clip, but the file size is three times bigger on the G6 Dome. So by default, so when we went in the properties, it's just that the bitrate is way bigger on the G6 Dome. So going in details, you can see that it has 32,000 kilobytes per second of bitrate. And when looking at the AI Dome, it's actually three times smaller. So in the details, you have 10,000 kilobytes uh, per second. So it is a big difference from the get-go, but you can actually configure it so the G6 Dome, you can reduce the bitrate and have the same size as the AI Dome. So this is some configuration that you need to adjust when you get it out of the box. So what to make out of all of this? Yes, the AI Dome performs better from the out of the box, but you can configure everything on the G6 to actually be exactly the same as the AI Dome. So it just takes a little bit more time and adjustment, but it's pretty much the same. But you have those small differences in terms of installation, in terms of the partner program. On the side of the AI Dome, you have that micro SD card slot that gives you storage redundancy if needed. So again, what's the good choice? Honestly, it all depends on you. And that's what I like about Unify, is that you have multiple different products that are useful for different projects. Some projects you require redundancy, so having that micro SD card is a must. But in most cases, if you don't need it, the G6 performs just as well as the AI Dome for a cheaper price. So for your day-to-day -day task, the G6 will provide you the security that you need. It's a big upgrade from the G5, providing you with all the analytics and resolution that the AI Dome has. So I hope this video was useful. We plan to do more camera comparison to really help you decide in your projects because sometimes it's not an obvious choice. As you can see today, they're pretty much the same camera, but you have some small differences that can give an edge to one or the other. So we want to help you out more. We want to give you the right solution for your projects. Guys, I'm Jeremy from People Systems. See you on the next one.